Every time Lumina releases something new, we cannot help but ask ourselves, is AI finally taking over? And I hear you from the comments. Last year when Luminar AI was released, we all were awestruck looking at what AI can do automatically. So the question naturally this time is, how much more can AI handle? Well, maybe a lot for sure. However, they're taking a much needed different approach this time of making you the master controller. As much as we love AI, you and I both as Photoshop artists know how much we appreciate to have manual controls, right? But what if AI could listen to those manual controls we want to make? For instance, if you tell AI to mask the leaves and it masks the leaves automatically, wouldn't that be crazy insane? Seems like you can do that with Luminar Neo. Luminar Neo focuses not only on giving you the variety of AI features like the ability to completely relight the scene using 3D depth maps and automatic masking, but also gives you full manual controls like we always appreciate like we have in layers. Yes, we have layers finally with Luminar Neo. And that too with a way better engine than Luminar AI. Is this going to be the ultimate AI editing tool ever? What new features will it have? And what does it mean if you already own Luminar AI? We'll discuss all that and more. So without any further ado, let's get started. Recently, in a sneak peek video of Adobe's upcoming version of Lightroom, they are introducing Select Subject and Select Sky with masking. And the ability to, of course, subtract and add masks, combine them, like we already have with Photoshop. Did you know Luminar Neo takes it way further? Besides just sky and subject that you already see in Photoshop, Luminar Neo can identify and mask hundreds of items like bridges, flowers, foliage, leaves, etc. at your command. So you can just tell it what to mask and AI will do the rest. They're calling it Mask AI. Before we move forward, do you know that Luminar Neo already has all of the features of Luminar AI and these features that we are talking about today are additional additions on a completely new platform. And many more features are about to come soon with future updates. By the way, Luminar Neo is not out yet. However, that makes it a very good opportunity for you to save on pre-order and that too without any risk. If you want to know more about this special pre-order price, please check the link in the description for the latest updates. I'm making this video so that you, my friend, can figure out for yourself right now whether it is for you or not. Because as with any pre-orders, the prices are only going to go up from here. If you feel like this is not for you, you always have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So they are confident that you definitely are going to like it. And yes, if you already own Luminar AI, you get special treatment. Check the link in the description on how to get your loyalty offers. As we have already discussed before, unlike Luminar AI, this time with Neo, you have layers. And the great part is you can even have layers of raw images and use all of the AI masking features that we just discussed in combination with it. Layers not only give you the freedom for blending different images or applying overlays or textures, but also makes the process faster. In any slider-based program like Luminar AI, you move one slider and the algorithm has to recalculate everything that you had changed in combination to that slider, which can eventually make it slower after a while. But once you have layers and you already have applied something to one layer and you're working on the other layer, it doesn't have to worry about what you did before and just apply the adjustment above it, thus giving you a much faster results. Besides, even if you don't have overlays or objects to layer up, Luminar has several of them built in to get you started. Let's say you have a backlit image with the subject here and the light coming from the back and the subject is completely harshly underexposed. The new Relight AI feature will allow you to take control of the light in each area of the image based on 3D depth maps. And not just that, it also detects and gives you the control of elements like people, buildings, skies, animals, etc. So let's say you have a portrait and the background is too bright. You not only can selectively choose which areas of the background you want to darken, but also control the lighting of a specific section of the image like the mountains at a distance. It is pretty promising and I'm excited to see how it turns out. Do you remember Luminar AI had added a slight new feature back in the day with sky replacement where it could control the lighting of the subject separately? Using the same technology of human aware AI with Luminar Neo, you will be able to remove and replace the background automatically. Plus this time you do have the edge refinement controls if required. Mostly, the default is more than enough. The only limitation is that at the moment of the launch, this will only be limited to portraits, but there's a possibility of further expansion in future updates. One of the most distracting things in any landscape or street photography that comes often are 
power lines and removing them one by one, selecting them and finding the right spot to replace them is so very time consuming. Fortunately, Luminar Neo is coming up very soon with line removal AI, which of course automatically removes all the power cables. Pretty darn cool, isn't it? Also in landscape photography, sensor dust is a big thing. And again, removing them is just trying to spot each and every dust particle and just dabbing on them and replacing them. Well, you don't have to do that. You then have dust removal AI to do it for you, as you guessed it right, automatically. With all of these features coming in on a brand new program, I know you must have this question in your mind that does this mean Luminar AI is going away? Well, not at all. They're both positioned very differently for very different kinds of audiences. If you're someone who wants to get quick results by moving a few sliders and not getting into intense customization and tweaking to explore the unlimited possibilities, well, Luminar AI is for you. And if you are someone like me or way more experienced than me, which I believe you are since you're watching this channel, someone who is used to using programs like Photoshop and appreciates manual controls besides all of these exciting features that are coming like layers, mask AI, relighting, and many more future features to come soon, Luminar Neo is for you. The big question is, should you buy it? I recommend that you review all of the features of Luminar Neo that we just talked about. And also keep in mind that it also includes most of the features of Luminar AI, like Sky AI that replaces the sky automatically, Accent AI for content-aware image enhancements, Skin AI to automatically detect and remove skin imperfections while preserving pores, texture, and hair, Portrait Bokeh AI, and we also recently made a video about it, Face AI, Structure AI, and the list just goes on. If you're someone who finds yourself using any of these features, I feel that this is one of the most important tools in your arsenal. Again, it's for you to make an informed decision. As you can see from the many tutorials I've done in the past, I've been using Luminar since Luminar 4 came out. Back then, we didn't have many of these fancy AI tools. Luminar Neo is launching this winter, and if you are interested, you can pre-order for the lowest price ever using the link in the description. And remember, if you have any other versions of Luminar, check the details in the description on how to get a loyalty discount. If you feel it's not for you, you still can choose to pre-order now for the lowest price and test it yourself. And if you don't like it, you always have a 30-day money-back guarantee after the product is released. And as always, there is no subscription. It's for you to keep forever. I hope I could show you something new in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.